You might have seen him on Comedy Central's Premium Blend and other programs on Comedy Central. He was on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, and he's here tonight on Bananas. Will you please welcome Greg Hahn? <laughs> For being here, everybody. Hey, you look great. How you doing? Okay, you all right? How about a hand for Thor Ramsey just getting us all riled up, getting us going, kicking off the show? Oh, all right. Hot babes up front. Okay, that's how I like it. We got a hot crowd. All the psychos in the psycho section. How are you? Woo, woo, woo! All the crazies in the crazy section. Hey! We got the maniacs down in the middle. Come on! It's gonna be, how about a hand for me? I lift too close to the power cable. One time for me, everybody, come on. I drink shampoo, how do you like that? What a show, what a party it's gonna be tonight. Like, I'm gonna get shot out of a cannon. All right, here's what we'll do. Let's just kick off the show. Let's just do the wave. Let's do the wave starting right here with this guy, the stud, Mr. Universe, 1906. You ready to go, sir? He's ready, let's say, it's, it's the wave. You ready, here we go, my man, kick it off, here we go. I can't believe you did it, keep it going, come on. Just me and you, lady, me and you. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. This poor lady's like, when's he gonna calm down and stop spitting on us? What's wrong with this guy? Oh, this is a great crowd. Thanks for coming out, everybody. I really appreciate it. Hard working people, here you are. I used to have a job myself. I used to have a job. I used to work. I used to have a corporate job, but I figured, why should I have a job that pays $200 a day when I could be a comedian and make that in a week? Ha ha! <laughs> I did not do well at the job interviews, you know? They're very serious, aren't they, ma'am? You know what I mean? When you go to an interview, they always ask you questions where they try to make you sabotage yourself. Have you noticed that? They'll say, like, so tell us, where do you think you could use improvement? As if you're gonna say, well, I am seething with hostility. <laughs> I love to throw staplers! <laughs> I am no stranger to prison. Ha <laughs> ha! Say, does this look like ringworm to you? It's itchy, baby, itchy. Itchy, when do I start? And they always ask you, what kind of a challenge you're looking for? You notice that? What kind of a challenge you're looking for? I'm not looking for any challenge. Just put me on the payroll. I won't even show up. How do you like that? <laughs> Who wants a challenge? You want a challenge, kid? Not me. What are you supposed to, how are you supposed to answer that to sound good, you know? Well, you can start by having everybody speak Portuguese when I start working here. I can't speak it. What a challenge that'll be. I can't speak. <laughs> Get me a stupid secretary. Better yet, just a kangaroo in a wig. <laughs> Super glue the door to my office clothes. I won't be able to get in. What a huge challenge that'll be every day. You ever walked into a job interview, taking a look at the people you're supposed to work for, and then decided you do not want that job? <laughs> so then you might as well just goof off during the whole interview. Who cares? Like, so tell us, what can you do for this company? Well, I can do this. <laughs> Check this out, baby. I can snap better than anybody. I'm a snapper. I'm a snapper. Down to one hand, back to two, back to two. <laughs> the right's a little bit weaker, but I'm working on it, I'm working on it. The left is a madman, look at it go. Look at it. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Who makes that noise better than me? Nobody. Wah, wah. When do I start? Wah. They're like, really, can you tell us something about yourself? Sure, I've got pink eye and my foot's asleep. <laughs> I've got matching silverware for the plate in my head. <laughs> I collect ointment. <laughs> I think I can fly. What can you bring to our company? Head lice, okay. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Next to you in the dumpster behind the airport. Okay, I'll be there. Uh, 
Woo! By the way, that's how I get around the office. I don't like to walk. I like to pretend I'm riding a horse at all times. That's how I do it. Sometimes it's a unicorn. <laughs> okay. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right. All right. Do that next time you go into work, everybody. Do that horse thing. Why not? Go in late riding up to your boss. You know, here I am! one guy. Uh, all right. You'll be replaced immediately. Woo. Sometimes they walk you around the office to meet people. Don't you hate that? They're like, this is Janice. She's hard to keep up with. Yeah, she's hard to look at. Let's keep walking. What do you say? I can't work here. All right. All right. Who thinks I'm on medication or I need medication right away? I know. It seems that way. I don't take anything, you know? <laughs> if I did, I would take Prozac, Paxil, and Zoloft all at the same time. Just walk around super antidepressed. Good morning, Greg. Hip, hip, hooray! Heep! I wouldn't go anywhere without a party horn, you know? Heep! Bad news would not phase me. Prozac, Paxil, and Zoloft, you know, wouldn't care. You're taking a huge pay cut, and I deserve it! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Your dog has worms. Me too! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Your girlfriend was kissing another guy. Well, he's the man! <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I used to have a job. <laughs> Imagine working with me every day. I might just take the next year off and track you all down one at a time. Come on. It'd be fun. I'd get there early. I'd have a few pots of coffee. I'd be ready for you when you came in, you know? I could ride you around the office. Get on, we're going in. Come on, take it back. <laughs> all right. Actually, I can't drink coffee, everybody. It makes me hyper. <laughs> you know what I mean? How about a cup of Java Joe? I've already had 47! <laughs> okay. I can't even talk on the phone if I've been drinking coffee. Yeah. Say it! You've been drinking coffee again? <laughs> we'll call you later. <laughs> Hello? Which one was me? Hello? Oh, okay. All right. So, I used to be in the military. I was in the military for a while. I was in the uh, Marine Corps. Do we have any? Uh, we got a Marine in the crowd? They're the best. All the Marines, join in with me. Come on. Ooh! Okay, everybody join in. Why not? Come on. <laughs> nice. Because they are motivated. How about army people? Army? Who? Army? Who? Oh, Salvation Army. Ding, 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 ding. Where are you? <laughs> Crazy guys with two bells. <laughs> we need more money for bells. <clears throat> so, sir, you were in the army? How'd you like it? Was it fun? Really? Didn't you like boot camp is a good time, though? You get to march all around. Hi, hi. Yo, Greasy Green, I got a hold of Panic and a Big Behind, like Frankenstein. Take it away, sir. That was outstanding. I used to goof off. I used to only call lefts. You ever do this? Left, 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 left. You see the men out there? I'll get you home early. They hate it when you make up your own salute. You know, afternoon, sir. <laughs> I wanted to be swift, silent, and deadly, but I'm too big, noisy, and stupid. I'd be up in the tree, you know. I can see everybody up here. <laughs> I was lucky, though. I was, I was in during peacetime. I was so lucky, you know. But your friends, they want to hear combat stories. They didn't care, you know. I did not go anywhere dangerous. What in the world could I say? You know, oh, yeah, I remember that time we were flying up over North Carolina. <laughs> All of a sudden, out of nowhere, we landed safely and had lunch. 
And I was surrounded by potato salad. Way past the expiration date. Outstanding. That's the favorite military word, isn't it? Outstanding, outstanding. Today we're gonna to hitch in the head with a pipe. Outstanding. When I came out of boot camp, I was a little bit wacky, everybody. I'm cool now, thank goodness. But it took a while. Because when you come out, you're fired up, aren't you? The same week I came out of boot camp is the week my sister got married. She had me seat the people at her wedding. I accepted the challenge. These people would come walking up to me in front of the church, like, oh, you must be Patricia's brother. Sit down! <laughs> Shut your pie hole! Get your eyes off me! I do not want to be your friend! 200 people showed up and put them all in the same row. <laughs> tighten it up, tighten it up, we don't have all day! Tighten it up, tighten it up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> we are totally uncomfortable. Outstanding! <laughs> that was good. Now, the ladies do not go for that ura noisy, macho screaming, do you? I know, because I've tried it before. It's my opening line when I meet a girl. You know, like, how are you? Yeah, I was in the Marines for a little while. <laughs> you take care now. All right. Oh, this is great. I'm sweating like crazy. That's how I like it. I remember one time, because I'm a ripped piece of gristle. You know what I mean? I am shredded wheat. Get a load of this. One time I was running, ma'am, I was running, you know what I mean? I was running, and this great looking girl started running like right next to me, right in my space. So I thought I'd break the ice between us by calling a little boot camp cadence right in her ear. You know, C-130 rolling down the strip, recon mama gonna take a little trip. <laughs> she just leaped off the treadmill, ran out of the gym. <laughs> Took me three hours to catch up to her and bring her down. All right. All right. I've been drinking the protein shakes. I take the vitamins. I take the St. John's for my wart. I do the whole thing, you know what I mean? I don't know what that means, either. whatever. OK. You people, you should lift weights. You should lift weights. You'd see a big difference. A good friend of mine got his head smashed in the squat rack. He looks a lot different. The treadmill fired him right out the window. I go crazy. Ladies, I go crazy in the gym. You know what I do? I chalk up when I go. I chalk it up. That's me chalking up. Chalk. I got the big weight belt on. Girls, dig the weight belt with the name on the back. Steve. Mm. Mm. I don't know who Steve is, but he's missing his weight belt. I'll tell you that. I want to be huge. That's my goal. I want a back so big my head looks the size of a pea. You know what I mean? Just a big back and a pea head. Why exercise your calves when you can just pull up your tube socks? You know what I'm saying? I don't care about legs as long as they reach the ground. Whatever. I love going to the gym, though. You get to meet people. I met this one guy. He wanted me to help him crack his back. You ever seen this kind of people? He had his elbows up in the air, right? He, had his el he was backing into me. He expected me to pick him up by his elbows and shake him all around. I just gave him a little push down the stairs. It's it perfect. Cracked everything. You don't do it their way. They never ask you again, you know? I love it. That's me in the gym. I don't even use any weight, nothing. I just... I gotta be in top shape, because I play golf. We have some golfers out here, don't we? Columbus? I play a lot of golf, man. I look like a propeller out there. I'm just swinging. You can't even count the strokes. I'm just swinging, swinging. Every hole, I use the driver. That's how I play golf. Par three, I let the big dog eat. I grip it and rip it. I don't want to see a seven iron. I got the weight belt on. Steve's playing some golf, baby. I hit that ball as hard as I can, walk six feet, hit it again. You give me a golf cart and a lake, I'll show you how to have fun all day. <laughs> you ever wonder how far a golf cart can get in a lake before it actually sinks? <laughs> 13 feet! <laughs> golf is the best. It's fun. It's a fun sport. Because if you yell four, you get to hit people with your ball. <laughs> I love that. I run out of balls, I hit them with the cart. Whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love golf. First time I ever played golf, I didn't know the lingo. They got the lingo, man. You know what I mean? They got the words. I hit the ball in the sand trap. My partner said, oh, you gotta play that with a wedge. So I yanked up my underwear. Hey! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Stop me if it gets too clever up here for you, everybody. <laughs> that joke killed him in fifth grade. All right. All right. I went to college. Any college students? <laughs> and the rest of you GEDs, come on! <laughs> I was an English major, an English major. My favorite author was Cliff Notes. I did not read one book. 
the first guy to say, you know, to make a long story short, <laughs> Cliff, no. All right. I didn't even learn English. I mean, I can't speak it that way. Knock, knock, whom's there? Whatever. <laughs> don't you hate it when somebody drops the whom bomb on you? I don't know when to use whom. He said whom, whomever, whom. Oh. <laughs> I didn't learn much in school. I didn't even learn how to do my laundry. You gotta learn how to separate the bright colors from everything. For four years, I was decked out in pink. <laughs> I never used detergent. I was just chucking my deodorant and flipping a Mentos. The girls liked it. Like, oh, you smell so nice. What is that? Speed stick. Ah! <laughs> All right. I was just lucky, everybody. I was so lucky to get accepted into college because I've got the aptitude of a chimpanzee. I got like a monkey attention dis disturbance monkey disorder. <laughs> There's something wrong. You know you're in trouble when you're taking the SAT test. You cannot get the practice questions right. <laughs> Which one of these does not belong? Car, 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 duck. <laughs> that second car looks awful suspicious. <laughs> Remember the SATs? You know, read the paragraph and answer the questions. So what do you do? You read the questions first, so you know what to look for in the paragraph. Then you get to the paragraph, you forgot the questions. You gotta go back to the questions. All right, time's up, pencil's down. <laughs> I just started number three and I skipped the first two. Uh, so I've been driving around. We get to drive around as comics. I went to the uh, Cracker Barrel restaurant. You ever been to a Cracker Barrel? I don't like going there, a lot of pressure. You know why? You know why, ladies? They got that little skip the pegboard IQ game waiting for you at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Why do they put those there? So you can ruin your self-esteem before the food arrives? <laughs> I did so bad last time I played that game, the waitress took away my utensils. She's afraid I'd stab myself. <laughs> Some kid called me an idiot. I'm like, I'm no idiot. According to this game, I'm an ignoramus. <laughs> All right. We should just take this party over to the Waffle House. That's a great place, isn't it? The Waffle House? You gotta learn, you got the waffle language. You got two eggs, taters, covered, smothered, buttered, battered, chunked, popped, plucked, and puked, clobber, slobber, hammered. <laughs> Quivered and glovered, disease and fleas and the cheese. Please, with a waffle on two. whoop de doo and a hokey pokey, turn yourself around with a cheese sandwich. Smack! <laughs> I just wanted some toast. If I was that cook, man, I would shoot everybody. He's under a lot of pressure, isn't he? You know what I mean? The waitresses are always yelling at him. Taters, chunk, pop, hammered. Was that battered and hammered? Or was it? He's always juggling all the spatulas, you know what I mean? Hairspray on the waffle line. Was that hammered? I said, puked and plucked the trap. Put your teeth in. I don't know what to make over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Woo, you people are good. You're hanging in there, I appreciate it. Because this is nuts. You should all go into show business with me, it's fun. You could be my crowd every night, just laugh at the same stupid jokes every single show. You should consider being comedians. If you're a young kid, consider being a comedian. It's great, you make your own schedule. I woke up late today, almost slept right through my nap. <laughs> you get to travel? One of these days, I want to be able to travel the country without having to use Priceline.com. Anybody ever tried Priceline.com? William Shatner says you can name your own price. I name my own price. I got nothing. <laughs> you go online. You know, okay, I'll take a five-star resort hotel in Hawaii. First class air, nice rental car. I'm willing to go $12.75. Make it happen. <laughs> what do you mean, no? You want to play hardball? $13.50. Come on, Captain Kirk, don't be so stingy. <laughs> I want to make like a zillion, billion, million in this business. You're looking at me like you don't think I'm, it's not going to work out for me at all. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. One of these days, I'll end up with $20 million in the bank. I'll just be sitting in my Learjet, my underwear, eating vanilla wafers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already halfway there. I got the underwear and the wafers. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> just broke out in a country dance right there. That's how they dance, like their foot's on fire. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they always sound like farm animals, the country singers. I'm gonna find me a new way to light up an old <laughs> Would you, could you, ain't you going to if I asked you, would you want to be my baby tonight? <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Uh, all right. I live in Hollywood. There's a crazy place. They always want you to be in the movies in Hollywood, you know? They always want you to be an extra in the movies. I don't like that job. They put you in the background of the scene. You know what an extra is, right? I don't like it. I show up on the set. Here's what happened to me. I show up on the set. The director comes up. He's like, all right, look, Greg, you're just going to be in the background. We're just going to need you to walk from here to there in the background just to act natural. Okay. <laughs> Cut, can we lose that doofus in the back? <laughs> they hate it when you look at the camera. That really makes them mad. You know? Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is a great job, though. You get to meet the girls, you know? They, I'm dating this one girl. She loves Picasso and Mexican food. Talk about artsy fartsy. Hey! Wow! Woo! I'm on fire! Nobody steals these jokes. Come on, everybody. <laughs> I'm giving these other comics nothing. <laughs> How do crazy people walk through the woods? They take the psychopath. Hey! <laughs> All right. Let's just make it, let's make it a crazy show. Let's meet people in this show. If you're single, if you're single, put your hands in the air. Hands in the air, single people. Come on. Pick a target and move in. Here we go. Pounce on somebody. <laughs> How about if you wish you were single, let's start a fight. Whatever it takes. <laughs> let's make it happen. You're a single lady? Now, if you see a guy you like, you're very nice to sit in the front row and laugh. Now, if you see a guy you like, do you ever go up and say hello to him, or do you always wait for him to say hello to you? Depends, good. I think women should approach the men in our society. Am I right, men? Yeah. That, me and that kid agree, okay. <laughs> Me and the second grader, okay. That's the level I'm at right now. I think, I think women should approach the men. That would cut way back on rejection because we don't care what the girl, I don't care what she has to say. I'm just happy she's not afraid of me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at me, man, my hair's a mess, I'm all sweaty. Who am I gonna turn down? <laughs> she does not have to be clever. She can come walking up. Hi, peanut butter makes me a little gassy. <laughs> well, pull up a chair. <laughs> Back off, the gassy babe is mine! <laughs> Find your own gassy babe! I love to smell my own breath. <laughs> Take a seat, baby. <laughs> I, think, I think women should approach the men, because if you don't, we're gonna keep coming after you. That's a disaster. Because we're guys, we've got nothing clever to say, you know? Hey, are those your eyes? <laughs> Or does somebody take the stars from heaven and jam them into your face or your head? <laughs> or, uh, what's up? <laughs> are your feet tired? Because mine are stinky. I mean, wait a minute, that's not how it goes. <laughs> do you like a guy with a tattoo? I don't have one, but I do have a great big rash that will not go away! <laughs> Shaped exactly like Pennsylvania. <laughs> Say, you look great on the back of my bike. You ever been on a Schwinn? 10 speed. <laughs> That's a bike horn, man. What's that do for you? <laughs> Remember those horns as a kid? Who's going to hear you coming? <laughs> Look out for the truck. <laughs> I got it. That guy would stop trying to steal my towel. We can continue with the show. All right. Woo! All right. All right. I get a little nervous around the pretty girls. You know what I mean? It affects my enunciation. I just want to say hello to a girl yesterday. Just say hello to her after the show. Here's what I came up with. You see where it was wrong? Then I got mad at myself. Looked even dumber. You know? She looked right back at me and went, <laughs> 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 
I think women are smarter than men. Women are smarter than men, aren't they? Yeah. Right, ladies? But you girls can be a little bit manipulative. Right there, that was manipulative. I used to date a girl, she could whack me in the head with a shovel, make me apologize for it. It's like, bang, hey, you just hit me in the head with a shovel. Now you made me feel bad. I'm sorry. I used to date a girl who was younger than I was. I used to date a girl who was like seven years younger than me. That was interesting. She could really chew a lot of gum. Whatever, whatever. Whatever. No way, no way. Whatever. We'd be driving along in the car. She's in her own world over here, chewing gum, singing to the music. It's 2.22, make a wish. <laughs> She'd see a car with a headlight out and have to do that padiddle thing. Padiddle! <laughs> padiddle! Make a wish the headlight's out on the car. Whatever. <laughs> I'm looking at her, you know. What? <laughs> We'd go over railroad tracks and her feet would have to come off the floor of the car, you know, superstitious. <laughs> She'd see a VW bug and punch me in the shoulder. Punch buggy! <laughs> Sluggy buggy! <laughs> 333, make a wish. <laughs> wish you were 10 years older. Sometimes there'd be like a VW bug with its headlight out while we're going over a railroad track. She's ripping the car up. CDs are flying everywhere. I gotta take a hard left, I'm kicking her out of the car. Her head's bouncing off the car. But Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's 4.44, make a wish. <laughs> Time flies in this joke. <laughs> I'm getting married, I'm getting married in August. What do you think of that, getting married in August? Come on, how about that? Isn't that huge? Isn't that huge? Uh, all I gotta do now is find a girl. <laughs> Some of these things I'm doing tonight are just jokes, man. I'm not getting married. Didn't mean to break your heart there for a few seconds. <laughs> I was engaged once when I was a young guy. I was engaged. I was en Did you know if you give a girl a ring and ask her to marry you, she thinks you're really going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> you should do it. Are you married, ma'am? Uh, let you know, let's talk about these married people. Because married, ma don't married people always make our single lives sound so trivial? You know how the married people talk? They're like, well, we just closed on the house. A little Eric just started school. Christy got that promotion. How about you, Greg? What'd you do last week? <sighs> well, my car's got some new oil in it. Had a peanut butter cracker on Tuesday. I'm taking a hard look at buying some scotch tape. I got that coming up. I'm fairly certain that's going to take place if I stay on track with my Franklin planner. I like being old. It's fun to be older and be single. You know why? You know why? Because I know the games that the ladies play. I know your games. <laughs> the girls play hard to get. I see right through it. I'll go walking into a party. I'll think, look at that girl trying to get my attention by making out with that guy. <laughs> Staring me down with the back of her head. I'll talk to you. Don't panic. I just walked in. Take off the heat. I'm amazed at how far you ladies will go to make a man jealous. One girl I used to date is now married. She has four kids. I am not coming back. She needs to get on with her life. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been on a date where after a couple hours you find it nearly impossible not to say, somebody kill me! Ma'am, you're my favorite in the crowd. Maybe you can help me out. I was on a date with this one girl, right? She was pushy, ma'am. You can tell me what, she was so pushy. Let me know if I did the right thing. She was pushy, pushy, pushy. So finally I told her, I said, look, for the 400th time, no, I do not want a breath mint. <laughs> did I do the right thing, kid in second grade? Come on, you with me? All right. Communication is the key though, you know? One girl I was out with, she said, how come every time I try, I try to talk about our relationship, you always insist on changing the topic? I said, well, you are absolutely correct. Your car does pull to the right. 
you like that one, ma'am? Hang in there. I got some funny stuff coming up later on in the show. <laughs> this girl's like, what are we going to do for lunch? I said, well, I'm going to eat a burrito. How come you can never think like a couple? Okay, I'll eat a couple burritos. What do you want, honey? Whatever you... <laughs> is it me or is it you? Here's something that like the married women do and the single the little system that the ladies have worked out. Here's what, here's what happened to me. I was, I, was, I was out and I did something that the girl, I did a joke and she didn't think it was funny. You know what she said to me? She said, oh, you just lost some points. <laughs> hey. I didn't know there was gonna be a point system all set up. You know what I mean? I didn't see a scoreboard anywhere. I was doing my impression of her mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just lost some points. I'm like, really, how many did I start out with? Ah. <laughs> You're looking at a guy that can blow through a lot of points. I was out with this one girl for 10 minutes. I was down 225,000 points. <laughs> it's fun, though. It's fun. A lot of ladies in here, I know you probably have, uh, you probably have pets, a lot of pet owners in here. No way, just keep talking to yourself, you fool. Okay. <laughs> Guys like dogs, women like cats. Most women I know, they always have cats. It's always cats, right? Isn't it cats? Most of the time it's cats. It's never anything cool like a wild dingo or wolverine. You never get like a venomous duck or frog with 18 heads. It's always cats. It's usually two cats, like a little one she just rescued from the trash 10 seconds ago. She just pulled it out from underneath a truck. It still has leaves stuck to its rear end. It's not a real cat, you don't have to all. But she's going to tell you how she met the cat. I put some milk out on Tuesday. She drank all the milk and came back on Wednesday. <laughs> this story come with a wake-up call or should I shoot myself? <laughs> how many points was that? Just curious. <laughs> 280 million. And the second cat's always an old crazy cat. You ever seen these things? The old crazy, should have died years and years ago. A lot of you ladies have these things. It's got an eye patch. It's had ball, socket, hip surgery. It's legs on upside down. <laughs> It's got a walker, an IV, and an oxygen tank. It smokes. Ow. 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 What is that? Don't look at it, it'll kill you. I dated one girl, she had a Great Dane, but she didn't tell me it was a Great Dane. All she said was, would you like to meet the puppy? So I'm all bent over, here puppy. This thing clapped down on my face, I thought it was a dinosaur. That girl lost a lot of points with me, everybody! <laughs> hey, thanks for having me here tonight. Give me a hand of a show business. You're beautiful crowd. It's been Hey, what a night. What a crowd. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming out. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful front row. Okay, second row. Better third row. Back row. Oh, whatever. Psychos. Maniacs. I'm not even close to being done. I just want to hear a little response. <laughs> Not gonna end on the stupid pet stuff. All right. All right. I think it's chivalric for men to cook for women. Men should cook for the women in our society. Am I right? I am right. And let me tell you something. These ladies love oatmeal. Am I right? Oatmeal, is that what you like? You bet. Some girls get all high flute and you gotta break out the pot pie. I used to... Anyway, I like to, I like, uh, what am I saying? Who cares? All right. I used to live in a basement apartment, everybody. That was weird. I used to live in a basement apartment, ma'am. I was underground. I had the carbon monoxide, the radon gas. I slept like a champ. <laughs> Running water from the ceiling. I didn't need a glass. I could just lay in bed. <laughs> Insulated by the mold. Nice. <laughs> Toilet blew up every 20 minutes, just like the Bellagio fountains. I used to have a classic car, too. I used to have a, uh, put it this way. You ever had a car, you turn it off and it keeps running? You know what I mean? Like it's trying to say something. Goo, 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 Like a surprise, it made it. Whoa, wow! Then it would backfire. Goo, goo, whoa, wow! I had the world's loudest handbrake. Yeah. Hey, we're here! Gee, gee, wow. yeah. The only thing silent was the horn. Uh. Uh. And the radio didn't work, so I'd have to make small talk. I got nothing with the small talk. 
You know, so, <laughs> yeah. So what's the biggest animal you think you could beat up? I'm going medium-sized puma. <laughs> so what do you think of the number seven? You ever had a car that's got a shimmy to it? You know what I mean? Needed a tune-up like four years ago. It's got a little shake and a shimmy. The guy at the red light next to you thinks you're having a nervous breakdown. It's the car! It's just the car! Just look ahead! Can you just look ahead? He thinks I'm waving at him. I'm just trying to hang on. It's the car! I hated toll booths. Just keep the change! Keep it! Keep it! Keep it! Oh, this crowd is sweet! Let's just kick it. Let's just do a little singing. What do you say? Let's do some songs. You ready? Come on. Let's get it going. Give me a little rhythm, everybody. Come on, let's get loose. Let's shake it up. It's bananas. Oh, yeah. A little singing here. Uh, who's got some words? Anybody got any words? Anything like that or anything? Okay, stop clapping. That song really needs more development when you think about it. Let's take a look at it. Side saddle. <laughs> All right. You ever try to hold a ferret? They're always coming at you. <laughs> Remember, if you keep your head held high and a stiff upper lip, you'll look like this. <laughs> now that we cover that, let me continue. All right. All right. Woo, here's what we'll do instead. Instead of what? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to tell you all a story, okay? I'll tell you a story. You make the sound effects to my story. The wilder, the crazier, the crazier, the wilder, the better. You ready? You got to be loud and don't leave me hanging up here. Don't make me look like a freak. <laughs> She's like, you're way late for that, buddy. <laughs> hey, it was a hot night there at Bananas. Everyone in the crowd brought their party horn. <laughs> and they brought their whoopee cushions. <laughs> I never heard a whoopee cushion go, whoopee, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> boo. Oh, nice. The place was full of Marines. And one guy from Planet of the Apes showed up. Okay. There are some Army people. That was great. A few people showed up to the Salvation Army. Ooh, a lot of people showed up to the Salvation Army. Okay. I was just so happy to be there. Earlier in the day, I was at a job interview where I was goofing off. And it was playing the banjo or something. What was that? It was a scat singer. I got a car, you turn it off, and it keeps running. And it backfires. I got the world's loudest handbrake. Oh, I ran over a herd of something right there. There's something wrong with the horn. Oh, you nailed that one. That was perfect right there. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, let's do this, everybody. Let's do some brand new jokes. When I film a special, that's when I break out the new jokes. You ready? Come on. If they're good, we'll keep, we'll keep them, and if they stink, we'll throw them out. You ready? Are you with me? All right, let's see how they, let's see how they do. You ready? Here we go. Before we continue, I just want to send a quick shout out to my chiropractor. He's always got my back. <laughs> Woo! That was beautiful. It's in there. One for one. I think it was solid. I think it was solid. No? Yeah? I think so. Is everybody healthy in here? I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. You gotta eat well, you gotta buy a juicer. I bought a juicer, it makes everything healthy. I'm juicing ring dings, ding dongs, I juice beef jerky. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just bought a brand new money market that invests in skin disorders. It's a growth fund. Ha <laughs> Woo! Too late, it's good. You gotta be quick, you booers out there. I'm just all excited. I'm all into the money these days because my accountant, I just had my taxes done. My accountant is so organized. He's the best. He even let me know which month I'm going to jail. Ha! Ah! <laughs> getting weaker, getting weaker. All right. I'll tell you why I'm so hyper. You're probably wondering, why is this guy so hyper? I eat a lot of sugar. You ever just go crazy with Frosted Flakes? I'm making All right. Earlier today, I bit into a peppermint patty. Was 10 years old, still in mint condition. Hey! Woo, perfect.
All right, kid, you are my favorite, whoever you are. <laughs> you and this lady, all right. I think men spend too much time being cool. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? They're always trying to be cool, ladies, aren't they? You know what happens? Uh, women actually like a guy who has a little bit of a flaw. So when I meet a girl, I'll throw in a flaw intentionally. <laughs> I say, so how are you? Can I, would you like to, uh, I'll be like, beep, go get a, something to eat or, uh. I can knock the dust off that and make it funny. <laughs> so I had this interior decorator over to my place. She's like, you know what? You'd look a lot more sophisticated if your living room was set up using the feng shui. I'm like, oh yeah, it's gonna make a huge difference if the ping pong table faces the drum set. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the kids don't get it, too bad. <laughs> so like uh, Thor, I played basketball in college. I played a little basketball. Coach hated me because I used to take half court shots. This is a huge basketball city, isn't it? All right, for both of you, I'm sure it is. <laughs> but I used to take half court shots and he hated that, right? But how could you not take a half court shot? I'd come down to half court, the defender would back off. I'm like, what, you're gonna give me this? Ah! <laughs> oh, out of the game, ah, whatever, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm staying in a nice hotel this time, which is great. I'm, I'm happy, you know. Normal, you know you're checked into a bad hotel when there's bite marks in the soap, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the air conditioning grills on the floor, on the carpet, and then the bad news, and the, the shower curtain wraps all around you when you're laying in bed. <laughs> I don't even need these jokes to be good. I got some new inventions coming out. They're gonna make me totally rich. I got some new inventions. I got the baby toupee. Come on, that's gonna be good. <laughs> I got the Elvis, all right. I got my new video, How to Parallel Park at 425 Easy Steps. <laughs> this is the car pulling out and going back in. Thank you, okay. I got my new book, How to, How to Stop the Worry and Start the Panic. Come on, that's a hit. All right. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. I, you know what, I just had a stroke, but let me, get, let me spit this out. I can't wait to get married. I'm gonna get married one of these days, girls. I'm gonna get married, I'm gonna take my wife to a suite. Motel 6, 35 bucks. Sweet! <laughs> all right, all right. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Oh, well, whatever, be ready. Let me tell you something. It's coming around again, it's coming around again. I always have fun during the holidays, you know why? Because I do not kiss my relatives. No matter what you celebrate, Christmas, Hanukkah, I do not kiss my relatives. I've come up with something way better, right? Because when you try to kiss your relatives, you never know which cheek they're going for. You end up always going back and forth doing that chicken-like head dance thing. <laughs> you could accidentally catch your grandmother's lip. That ruins the whole holiday spirit. <laughs> now, with a headbutt, it's straight on. <laughs> There's zero confusion. It's like, Merry Christmas, Aunt Virginia. <laughs> Her shoes fly across the room. Her big wig goes askew. <laughs> oh, this crowd is nice. All right. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta get out of here, but we got another guest coming up here really quick. This guy's a riot. I know you've been here for a long time. Do you have the energy for one more comedian? Do you have the energy? Let me hear it. He's just gonna do a few minutes, so funny. A good personal friend of mine, an honor for me to bring him up. Do me a favor all together, let's chant his name, let's make him feel good. Come on, here we go, you ready? Murray, come on, Murray, everybody. Murray, 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 Murray. Just you, lady, just you, go ahead. All right, what's it gonna to take to get you to pipe down? Okay. Unfortunately, Murray cannot be with us this evening. This little dance I invented right there. It's hot stuff, I call it the Murray. It comes in handy, because sometimes you'll be on the dance floor, you'll be on the dance floor trapped for the men. Men will be on the floor trapped with some girl that won't let him sit down. Right, the ladies gotta dance to every song all night long. That won't happen if you bust out to the Murray. She will be dying for you to sit down. Because these ladies love to dance, don't you ladies? They do, they'll be out there, oh, I could just dance all night. You got it. <laughs> we 
can sit down. Can we sit down, please, immediately? <laughs> Nobody stops Murray. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you off the floor. It'll get you out of the mall, too. I've done it. <laughs> It'll get you off a of jury duty. <laughs> Any reason you cannot be on the jury? No, none at all. Why, you are free to go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got to get out of here, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm really done. That's the show. You are a beautiful crowd. Come back and see us next time. Here at Bananas, I'm Greg Hahn. Hey!